Hello, our friends. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And boy, you know, this weather is so changeable. I wonder what could be happening as I look at a Harper Ray on yesterday's video that we did. It was a Patreon exclusive. And uh, maybe we're looking at another Harper Ray under the ocean. Yeah, there's there's so much coming out right now. It's It's really... Uh, a lot to keep up with. Well, it's coming out hard and fast, and and unfortunately, there's so many places people people are getting hurt, and and we've seen the storms that have been going on lately, and nobody is going to tell me for a second that that's just Earth changes. Oh yeah, <laughs> Earth changes, Earth changes, Earth changes. Let's start over here. After 166 days circling Earth, China's secret space plane has ejected an unknown object into orbit, according to the reports. Uh, you know, this is very much like one that, that the U.S. has had up there before, and sometimes these um, planes, quote-unquote space ships, whatever you want to call them, will stay up, it, up there for a very, very long period of time. I, I again think that there's telegraphing of information in a purposeful manner so as people will have the, you know, connect the dots going when things really happen. Although when I showed Cindy this, she said, oh, I think this is what they're going to be using to give us the, uh, you know, a CME type of EMP uh, to knock out the grid and give us the confusion because we are getting really close. Today is May 29th. Wow, the first week of June is just days away, guys. Hang on tight. Well, you will have to see. I mean, that did come up, but that doesn't mean that's what it is. Um, we have to, I, and, and even if this is the timeline that we're on, that something does happen, I don't think it's going to be a complete knockout of um, all of our equipment. I think it, it is just what Mike said. It's going to be a disruption. Yeah, and that's that's what we're heading into. I, I think it in some ways it's it's more effective for their purpose to have um, disruptions that are ebbing and flowing. You know, again, think in terms of those rolling blackout things, where it's 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 periods of um, you know nothing, and then periods of okay, we got it, we got signal. Hey, check in on on this person, that person, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, the guides. Um, We've been like running around with uh, like chickens with our heads cut off, so to speak, trying to get things done yesterday. Um, did uh, work out early in the yard uh, for hours, you know, prepping and getting, you know, gardens ready and, and um, another bed. We just uploaded a little video over on uh, EE Arts, just giving you like a quick five minute update on our cucumbers and tomatoes which are going fabulous and peppers too going really well um so that's wonderful it's been uh some struggles with some of the fruit trees because for uh our area for instance uh it's just been sopping wet and and i know a lot of people uh are having a lot of issues because of the extreme weather and this is what it does it makes it really really tough um when you when you have extremes and and we certainly have extremes but we're probably going to be faced with a lot more uh, extreme conditions in the relatively near future so you know space force is watching this they catalog this object as 59 e84 uh, and when they do things like this um, they say it could be a subsatellite. Well, I mean, maybe it's a satellite killer. Maybe it's, uh, again, something that's going to bring about an uh, EMP type of thing. At least what they've done is they've seeded the notion that it's out there. And this comes at a time when you see the attacks on Rafa in the southern Gaza Strip intensifying. Uh, you know, more shelling ongoing. They tell us that at least 36,171 Palestinians have been killed. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of people. And I tend to think that it's probably 10 times that. I, I, I just, I don't see that level of destruction. And it, it, it just feels like it's probably 10 times that. You had 2 million people 
two million people that are basically uh, homeless, you know, so 81,420 wounded on top of that 36,000. That's over 110,000 people, 117,000 that they're saying, um, you know, again, two million people jam packed into a tiny, tiny zone. It is it, it's an atrocity um, that uh, to me, the only really demonically influenced beings could possibly do. And the Israeli embassy has been set on fire in Mexico. This comes a day after the Israel embassy in Istanbul, Turkey, was set on fire, too. You know, when most of the world is in agreement uh, that what's going on is, is, is far above and beyond what should have happened, in fact, inconceivably far and beyond, then, you know, you got a problem when you have the leadership of two, two countries uh, just kind of ignoring everything. Those two countries are being so set up. And again, the leadership in Israel, absolutely demonic. Doesn't mean every single person is that lives there because most people are clueless. This is, this is the big reveal. I, I do think most people are clueless. Sometimes there's that, um, what's that term where you, where you emotionally have to disconnect, you know, you, you can't you can't acknowledge it because it's something that might um, might make you feel very very yeah cognitive dissonance because you just don't want to see it. And over here in Turkey, you see President Erdogan calling on the Islamic world to unite against Israel. What are you waiting for to take joint decision on Israel? What more needs to happen for you to react? Um, you know, that's really, I was saying that to Cindy. I was saying, when you look at it, I'm, I'm actually extremely surprised at the fact that there hasn't been um, a, a massive reprisal. And uh, the only thing I can think of is you have different categories of humans right now. You have those that are on the ascension path and don't want to have anything to do with vengeance or you know, going down that eye for an eye road and just want there to be peace. And then I think you have uh, a lot of sleepwalking zombies that are just so cognitively dissident that they they just, it, nothing's registering. It can't. It can't. I mean, it, it's truly, truly a safety mechanism. And I, I can look back and, and remember my own cognitive dissonance with things going on in my own life. And all I can do is is tell people that it's it's a very dangerous type of emotion where people just cannot see. They look, but all they see is a black screen. It, there is an override. There is an override to that cognitive dissonance, but it, it's not easy. So I don't expect people to engage at all. I, I remember my own. It, it was just a black wall. I, I could look at it, but it was just turned into a black wall of information that just was not there so as soon as i saw that i just said, well there's nothing there so i turned my head and it's very it's very unfortunate that we have this on a large scale I, you know i i understand people individual individuals going down this life and they really can't face some things so they that's what they do they protect themselves and um this is something that people are doing because they don't want to see it they can't see it um sometimes it could be higher self actually stepping in and saying no you're not ready to see this but then there comes a point in your life and it all gets ripped open and you have to look at it and that's where the devastation can come in and that's where the action happens and i don't think we're too far from that i don't think we're too far from a lot of people suddenly um, being able to see what is really going on and then they have to do something about it and whatever that thing might be it's probably going to include really not supporting the system in some way shape or form I'm not calling for any kind of violence in any way not at all but um, when people are able to see it things will change yeah absolutely you know there's this there's another awakening that's going on there was uh an awakening in the 60s that got waylaid um by the alphabet soups as they poured drugs into the mix and tried to get everybody uh drug addicted this is what they do that is that a white hat no no you know the reality is none of the governments on the planet 
during a dark age are really wearing white hats none no um now it, it's it's changing in that there there's there's a lot of things coming for to the forefront in people's hearts and minds and a lot of realizations going on i do think it's possible you can have uh some have true change of hearts and and want to escape the system or or you know leave their part of it as so many of them are indoctrinated into these secret societies in in more ways than one they are all actors you know this is the reality you know erdogan again he, he's an actor you know I've, it's almost ridiculous looking at what's going on with 45 right now as they're talking about jail and and it does seem like a lot of people just don't care uh, they're picking up on the fact that this is all just WWE antics. It really is. And it's getting to be so over the top obvious when you when you look and I'm just going to kind of go a little bit off tangent and you look at, say, Drudge Report and, you know, uh, who cares? You know, the reality is the whole thing is a sham. It's it's such an obvious sham. It's it's all such an obvious script, and I think people are waking up to this in droves. And you know, they're disillusioned. They don't want to go back to the past in any way, shape, or form. As we're you know, you know that slogan, "Make America Great Again." It's always sounded like really what they're talking about is make America Babylon the Great Again. Help you know, flush it down the toilet. And, um, you know, prop up something else for a short time only to flush that down the toilet, too, because this is what they do. And they've telegraphed so clearly what's about to appear to happen. Russia's FSB intelligence chief has accused NATO countries of preparing to conduct nuclear strikes on Russia. And that's why they will you know, be looked at as saying they did it first. Because we were going to do it to them. But in reality, again, I do not think they're going to be allowed to use nuclear weapons in, uh, in great mass. This is, again, why when 45 did come into office, they got out of the treaties that limited how small you can make them. Because they know they're not going to be allowed to use the big nuclear weapons. Well, let's see how small we can go and at what point you know, the galactics will intervene. This is exactly what, why they did what they did. Yet they know there's certain technology that doesn't rip the fabric of time space. And again, affecting different densities is why they won't be allowed to do that in, in, in big mass. So they have things like the rods of God, which we've talked about many times um, before. This is a real technology. Um, what they're planning on using is something akin to this um, but something that is uh, a little bit next generation to what they've shown us as you see you know Razagad could hit with a force of a nuclear blast but it's not going to leave a radioactive mess but they still might tell you the area is radioactive this is why you can't go back to your homes just like you can't go back in in hawaii and and residents aren't allowed to but don't worry we got great new great new smart city all set for you and you know or you know hey we're going to be building this great new smart city from the ashes uh, just in the safe zone from where you know uh, you used to live because you can't go back to your home this is exactly what they're planning um you know, and, and sometimes I can feel comments that are coming from somebody in the system. And uh, there was a comment the other day where somebody said, oh, boy, you really think you got everything figured out, don't you? And I could feel, oh, <laughs> you're an irritated Illuminati or Fed, <laughs> because that's really what they are. Uh, they're irritated because, you know, again, exposing their very obvious uh, plans. Putin threatens the West's dense populations in very small land masses as a response to the NATO escalation. Because again, the U.S. has 333 million official citizens, actual citizens. That the number of people that are probably on U.S. soil right now 
Yeah, it might be as high as 370 uh, at the moment um, because we probably do have 30 to 50. I, I've seen some estimates recently of 50 million illegals in the country. So, yeah, there could be 370 to 380 million people on U.S. soil. And again, Russia is m so much bigger than the U.S. It's very, very vast. And yet it's it's got 150-ish uh, million people. So, you know, there's vast areas uh, of Russia that really has nobody in it. And really, there's a lot of our hidden history over there, too. There's a lot of his uh, hidden Tartarian history over there. So this is what he's talking about. People are very, very densely populated. Um, you know, there's so many places I wish I got a chance in this lifetime to visit. We'd love to take Cindy on a European trip. Uh, one of the things that hits us, though, when I look at the population density is, wow, you guys are really jammed in like sardines when you talk like, you know, again, most of the European countries in comparison uh, to what we have over here in the U.S., and this is what he's talking about. In other words, there's a lot of people jammed into very small areas that if they were to be hit with things like the rods of God, the devastation would be um, overwhelming. A direct threat, really. And again, telegraphing what they, the system has planned. Mm -hmm. They do that. We, we picked up this information, I don't know, probably three months ago. Where um, I, on one timeline I did see a, a limited strike, but like Mike said, it was um, it was a technology uh, kind of upgraded from the rods of God. And when I saw it go into the ground, it was going to be affecting everything that has wires. So uh, the electricity that goes to your house, yes, there's. That's what I saw. There was going to be a problem with that. So, but everything else that's going through the air was going to be able to be uh, remedied somehow. So it's their way of rolling out a new technology. That's to me. That's that's one of the reasons, and also to really kind of upset us in a big way and bring a lot of chaos. So, this was one timeline I saw uh, three months ago. We'll have to wait and see. Because if you've watched us for any length of time, we understand the Vedas and we go by the Veda belief system and there's many 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 timelines and when you are picking up a timeline that becomes a real possibility because it's not super far from your energy field I don't see anything that's not already happened I don't see anything that's not already been created somehow some way shape or form so that's one of the timelines I hope it doesn't happen I hope we miss it and things will just somehow evolve and change without you know the big ta-da and the big the big problems and and all the suffering because that's what i really truly want to avoid absolutely so again you know prepare as best as you can for for what's coming uh, and many have many 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 have this is monkey works if as far as uh you guys probably a lot of you guys are familiar with him um, he's got uh, 731,000 subscribers, and as far as plane movements go, uh, he's thought of as being the best for tracking what is going on. He's former military himself. Um, I believe he lives in Dallas, uh, or in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, definitely know he's a Texan, but this is what he was saying. You know, he's saying as much as he hates to say it, guys, uh, they are going to bring about a draft. He's completely convinced they're going to bring about a draft. Yeah, absolutely. This is part of what we've been saying. And again, at the same time, what is really the war? The, the war and then the subsequent draft is where humanity says uh, it's where the split occurs because there's going to be a lot of people that say uh, forget this bleep this we're done with it and whatever that means we're done with it and then there will be those that just you know got to go along with the system we don't have any alternatives is their mindset there's always alternatives there really is always alternatives yeah it doesn't mean that they're easy could be extremely hard and that's what the system's banking on that's why the system has made us as soft as can be before pulling the rug out from under our feet because you know again it, it's all been planned for a very long time we are talking 
big in the big scheme of things these are cycles that repeat in 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 thousands of year intervals and so there's nothing new under the sun but at the same time these cycles don't go down exactly the same way and so you know um i was pretty sure we would have already had the big quakes by now um but that was me and that wasn't coming from the guides that was my inkling and my interpretation of everything and the guides came through and said uh, strangely in their vocabulary michael your clock is short and again that i take that to mean that the timeline is a longer timeline than than what i was thinking but at the same time it was the guides that gave us 1.5 years from December of 2022 to when they showed Cindy volcanic activity in what we took to be the Pacific Northwest and a direct attack on the U.S. by uh, China, Russia, and others. So that takes us <laughs> to, you know, basically in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so if that timeline is still in effect, and it appears that it could be, um, then we still got work to do to shift out of it so it, it doesn't manifest. Meanwhile, you got, you know, farmers being ordered to kill 4.2 million more chickens after Iowa uh, egg farm is hit with, quote unquote, bird flu. You know, this is the stupidity of the system because they'll say, well, you know, you got to kill them because, you know, it, it might run rampant and yet you're killing probably more I would say <laughs> more than probably <clears throat> you know guaranteed you are killing more than would have been killed even in the worst case scenario with the flu but this is what they do because <clears throat> the bottom line is they don't want us being self-sufficient um, and this is the second plane uh, in less than a year there was another plane that went down just recently this is albuquerque there was another one that was down closer to white sands um, that went down and this is an f-35 i i think i forget i i don't remember guys if it was an f-22 or an f-35 the one thing i'll say though is uh, i know i've seen the f-35 and the chips that are in it connected to China. So I'm wondering if they're uh, doing tests on turning off the power in our defense, quote unquote, systems. Uh, I, that's what I pick up from this. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I, you know, when I when I look at it and I, I look at the pilot, there there's a sudden confusion, like and a sudden cutoff of power, and and just totally terrified. So. That's what it seems like to me, too. It's like somebody handed over the remote. Very, very horrible. Yeah, that's exactly how I, how, what I felt. And we didn't share any information on that. So that feels very, very um, likely. Warning issued over mystery beach clumps. Avoid touching. If you are in Oregon and Washington, British Columbia, be aware, uh, there's tar-like substance being washed up on uh, the beaches. Oh, underwater volcano is what comes to my mind right away. Underwater volcano. And then again, what did we see? What did we see from the guides? You know, the message, 1.5 years. Again, I think we got that. If I'm remembering right, I want to say it came in somewhere around... Uh, the first week of June. I know it was early June. Uh, I'm sorry, early December, which would bring us into early uh, June, if it's exact, uh, of this year from uh, the, the vision that Cindy saw volcanic activity, Pacific Northwest, and specific, really, when we looked, went through, when we were poking around looking at different volcanoes, looking at Rainier and looking at Mount St. Helens, and looking at uh, Shasta, you know, Shasta looked the most like it. And we looked at Mount Hood, um, but it felt Pacific Northwest. And it felt, again, uh, the timing that they showed was volcanic activity, new volcanic activity with the war uh, happening and, and the U.S. literally being invaded at the same time and so we have this you know this is 20 hours old 
And again, is this an underwater volcano letting loose? Does that mean there'll be other volcanoes letting loose shortly? So, you know, they've, they've found wildlife that have been affected. They don't know where the tar is coming from. A dead humpback whale was found washed ashore in Nihalem Bay State Park, uh, according to a May 27th update. So, you know, officials from oil spill response organization been attempting to clean up the tar, bore, tar, tar balls, but the situation is ongoing and they were sent for lab analysis and have since confirmed it's petroleum based. So, you know, again, is this really just some sort of oil spill that's off there? Um, or is this something going on more like, you know, uh, perhaps volcanic activity? Is it volcanic activity that they want to cover up? Uh, it, are, they, are they literally spilling oil to cover up volcanic activity? Um, Cindy's nodding her head and smiling. You just, you just cannot, absolutely cannot put anything past these beings. They're, they're, they're going to do whatever it takes for them to stay in power to the very last second. And if that means, you know, creating a problem to cover up a problem and killing, killing so much wildlife, they really don't care. It's, it's, an, it's a means to an end, and that's what they do, and that's what makes them so dangerous because they they just don't care what happens in the interim they're like they look at a situation they're like okay what do i need to do to get to this end and no matter how ugly that is they'll just do it because it doesn't bother them um that's what we're dealing with this level of evil that uh i um uh, it's hard for me to connect with but it's happened in my own life so it's not something that i can ignore and this is just two months previous. This is going back to this year's March. Underwater magma eruption looms after B British Columbia coast rattled by a series of 2,000 small earthquakes. So, you know, again, this is two months earlier, and they're talking about you're going to have a big uh, eruption underwater. And so, you know, again, is this related? Well, you know, time will tell, and we might not have to wait too long. This is in um, Dallas uh, International Airport. The plane's not moving with engines. That's literally getting blown from the wind. I, I mean, what we've seen with these enhanced storms is absolutely incredible and truly scary. Mm -hmm. I know it's it's really awful. I, when I when I look at it, there's just no way that this is this is normal. And we just know too many people who are having some weird odd odd things happen to them like for me i get pain mostly in my head somewhere when i know that there's a storm and i know that they're using technology so things change in my body and that's happening to a lot of people and and i do feel that that's the technology doing that it's just something that's completely not normal and they're gonna try to say oh it's climate change they're gonna try hard um, you know, look at this picture. Now, is it is it that she's a giant? This is from 1572. Or is it just because she's front and center in the forefront? Uh, you know, again, there's so many references uh, to giants and, and depictions of giants. When we look back to that timeline and we think about the explorers that were out there uh, exploring the Americas, what they thought for the first time, but no, <laughs> not at all for the first time. Uh, again, you know, the, the history is not even close to accurate. And if there were many, many, many giants around, you know, 400, 500 years ago, and, and literally mixing in with people at that point in time, Think about the efforts that they have put into it to eradicate our history and get us, you know, thinking things uh, that keep us truly in the dark to what has been going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, this information, what it does is it points out the how how the controllers, they go to such great lengths to keep us in the dark, to keep control. And, you know, there's just nothing out of bounds for them, I think. 
We need to look back to nature in, in so many ways because nature has it right. Nature will always have it right. But this poor little monkey guy, he's so excited to eat his cookie and it falls in the... <laughs> he's so disappointed. Plop. And he looks, his heart One sinks. <laughs> his heart sinks. And I just throw it all away. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like, this is just so sad. Poor guy. I send him my love. Well, it, it's probably something that's been coded in appeal, you know, from Gil Bates. <laughs> it's probably a good thing, guy. Yeah, it's probably good. Thank you guys for being with us. Look forward to your comments as always. Thanks for your support. Again, exclusive videos up on Patreon, Source Bless, and Namaste. Namaste.